What's up guys, Kara Corey here from Kara Corey Fit Life, back with another great recipe. Today what I'm gonna make for you is a chocolate sludge cake. So if you guys have tried sludge, developed by Mark Loebliner, um, it's a very simple thing to do. If you wanna know how to make it, just look at the instructions on the back of your machine way. But for today's recipe, what you are going to need is actually some MTS Epic Gains. Epic Gains is gonna be critical to make this recipe taste perfect because the main ingredient for Epic Gains is brown rice powder, or actually just brown rice, and then it's got a blend of whey protein in it. So if you just use a basic whey protein, it's not gonna taste quite as epic, hence Epic Gains. So today I'm gonna to use the caramel macchiato, but there's also cookies and cream, so if you have that flavor, that will work just as well. So for this recipe, I'm gonna throw one full scoop in of this. Smells so friggin' good. I love this stuff. One full scoop of that. This is a little bit higher in carb as well due to, due to the brown rice um, that's in it, but it makes a perfect pancake. So next, what we're gonna add in the bowl, I kinda already have some stuff measured out here. You're gonna wanna use some type of sweetener. So I've got in here two tablespoons of Splenda, but you guys can adjust this based on how sweet you like it. And then to make it nice and chocolatey, I'm using one tablespoon of our unsweetened baking cocoa. And then for a little bit of fun, just a half a tablespoon of some Toll House milk chocolate chips. So you guys, again, can adjust how much you wanna add in there based on your macronutrient needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump all that good stuff right in there. And next we are going to need one egg white, so I'm just gonna crack that in there. Always hope you don't get any shell in there. Just back and forth, beauteous. Okay, add that in there. Just gonna wipe my hands off real quick. This is pretty simple to find, so I know you guys may not have this laying around on hand, but this Now brand products makes better stevia, liquid sweetener, and dark chocolate. This is really great. You can find these in a lot of places, so just look around, check the internet, Amazon, what have you, but really great addition to kind of help bring out those chocolate flavors. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. Okay. So I'm gonna whip this up, and then what we're also going to do, I'm gonna whip this up real quick. You want the batter on this to actually stay kind of thick. So I like to first, before I add in any milk, just kind of mix it around, see what I'm working with. The batter is still really thick, so I've got some cashew milk laying around that I've got measured out. I'm just gonna slowly add a little bit in there, because again, you don't want it to get too liquidy. You want it to stay kind of thick, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a time at a time and keep mixing it until we get our nice thick batter. And that's looking like it should be good to go. So as you can see, nice and thick, chocolatey, and smells good. What we're gonna do is just throw this on the stove. I'm gonna spray it with a little nonstick cooking spray like a medium heat, make sure your pan is heated up at first. And we're just gonna cook this baby like a pancake. So when your Epic Gains pancake is done, now's the fun part, you get to add some toppings. I've added in just some little of these mini marshmallows. I'm gonna spray this baby with a little fat-free ready whip because you can never have too much of that. And then just for fun, some added carbos, some Cocoa Krispies. All right, Cocoa Pebbles, not Cocoa Krispies. And there you have it. So Epic Gains is a little bit higher in carb, a little bit lower in protein than your average way. So this is great to have post-workout, post-lift, to refuel yourself with some good carbohydrates and make it a little fun. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Don't forget to hit that like button. Keep checking back for more.